Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So we are doing an energy forecast today and I just wanted to talk to you about what actually has been going on uh, for the last few years. So as well as the last few months and the eclipses that we've just had, as well as the ones that will come up in September. So it's been ages since I've done an energy forecast and I just uh, stopped doing it because I, I wasn't sure if there was much of an interest in it. And, uh, but at the same time, uh, what was to come at the time was so kind of horrific. I didn't want to uh, constantly be giving these negative messages. Uh, but right now, uh, I thought that as times have been quite turbulent, especially in the last couple of months, not just externally, but internally for people, I thought that it would be a nice time to just come up and say hi and say, well, this is what's been going on, but it is gonna start looking better. Um, so I think that for, just let's start with what's been going on internally first. So I think what's been going on is that in the from about uh, June last year, or from about May last year, I would say, from about May, there's been a shift from around the beginning of May, there's been a shift in people's lives. And, an, and a kind of a, a journey has begun, which will last about 18 months. So we'll come to the end of that around November. November, it will be complete, okay? And you can compare this astrologically with the notes that you might have or the info that you might have, and you will uh, understand probably why it's worked within this time frame. I'm not sure why it's worked within this time frame. All I know is that it's a certain energy came into being around May last year, and that would have um, asked you to go back and look at who you are and almost excavate, go back into your past and excavate who you are, go back to find experiences that you may have had as a child, uh, people that you may have, have met when you were a young adult, or depend on, depending on how old you are, you would be going back maybe a decade or three decades or four decades. But it's really about, you have been excavating and finding that you may have experiences or interests or just come across something or people that you may have known from your past. And that would have begun in May. And what that triggered is a set of events where people have tried to understand themselves better. Now, all our journeys and all purpose in life is actually to align with our soul purpose or what our soul has, um, has indicated that this life is for. However, when we come into this environment, into the, uh, this plane, into these bodies, we tend to be swayed, okay? And the, and as we move along on our journey, we are constantly trying to, to come into our sole purpose. So this excavation that began in May last year would have led you to come more into focus into what's important for you, who is important for you, how people treat you, and how people uh, react to you or, or interact with you. And uh, that would have continued, all right? So you might have found that as the year proceeded between May and about uh, December, there may have been people that have been more important or less important to you, and some people may have left your lives you may have decided that you don't have the need for certain people in your life, but some people may have left your life and it's all because you need to focus more on who you are and what you need for yourself. And these people may have been taking up too much of space in your life or too much of energy or leading you in the wrong direction because your focus might have been too much on them. So if you've had people leave your life unexpectedly or you've decided to break off ties with people unexpectedly, it is simply because you've needed to focus more on a different path. And while one might grieve the, lo the those type of losses, um, it is meant to be, and it's meant to um, kind of start off something new in your lives and in everyone else's life as well. If there has been death, then it will affect not just your life, but obviously many other people's lives as well. So. You would have begun in May with, with that excavating. And then as you go along to July, August, September, you might have found that people have started leaving your life or would have left your life already. 
Then as you came to the end of the year, there would have been this energy about what can I accept in my life and what am I not willing to tolerate in my life any longer. And it might have been this new discovery of where it is that you need to place your boundaries. Things that you may never have considered before or may have not been an issue for you before have suddenly become an issue. And the reason I'm talking about all of what's happened from May, July, August and December uh, is because November, December is because uh, last year in 2023 is because <laughs> it has so much to do with what's happened in the last few weeks. So as we came into the eclipse uh, on the 24th of March this year and um, yeah, as we come into that energy, you might have found that all of those issues that we've talked about last, uh, that happened last year, uh, all of those things, we're preparing you for what's to happen. And if you haven't been listening and you have not been taking heed uh, to what it is that needed to, to, to take place, if you've not um, considered yourself with the, consider your, reconsider your boundaries, if you've been too tolerant where in areas where you needed to have been less tolerant, if you've needed to go in a particular direction, but you've been hanging on to the past, then you would have found that the last few weeks from the, around the, say the 20th of March um, till to now, to the end of this week, or the, maybe till about the 15th or 16th of May, you're going to find that that energy is going to be constantly knocking on your door and saying, well, can you please make space for me in your life? And that per that, that is trying to make space for you in, in your life is your own being and your own soul trying to say, okay, well, that's not important. These people are not important. That's not your focus, but you are your focus. And where is it that you can give more to yourself in your life at this moment? So you may find that people take up too much of space in your life, whether physically uh, or just in terms of your headspace, or maybe in terms of um, uh, the, the workload that you have to contribute towards their life. Perhaps they're constantly giving you chores to do. Perhaps they constantly coming to visit you, or perhaps they're just taking up your space in more ways than one. You know, in your if you if you, it's somebody that you live with, perhaps they take up more space around this. The, the home in terms you know like the bathroom or the kitchen or whatever and you've needed to make room for yourself in that in that so you could express yourself more so it may have found that you may have found that you feel suffocated in some ways because you've not been able to express yourself and that is all part of that energy now I want to say for some of you you may have been really ill as the, the time comes and you haven't actually paid attention to what it is that you've needed to do for yourself. So you may have found that you found you've been very ill. You may be finding that you are being more firm with people around you, like family members or friends. You may find that you're just not inclined to see friends as often as you may have been, or you may have restricted your social life quite significantly and have chosen to go inward and deal more with your spirituality and actually hear what is going on with you and hear what wounds need to be healed. So last year, you would have, if you've not dealt with uh, with a lot with the stuff last year in Jan in in December last year, November and December, you would have found that you were dealing with it now. And what would you have been dealing with in December last year? Would you be looking at your childhood and how it is that certain pains and patterns that you may have had from your childhood constantly continue to exist in your life and constantly to play a role in your life as you as you live and how there's no there's no room for it anymore. You can finally let go of those things and let it be in the past. And if you find that you have family interactions which uh, bring up that stuff, you may have decided also to distance yourself from that. And that would have started around it may, you may have had flashes of that in January as well, as well as in, in February, um, but it would have come to a head in at the end of March or the beginning of April. And you will now, it's like you've written your first exam between March, um, between the 20th of March and the 16th or 17th, well, 15th or 16th of May. And, uh, and then you'll have peace for a while. You'll have peace. It'll all be fine. It'll all be okay until you come to September. And in September, 
around the 15th to of September till uh, I would say the end of November, you are going to be dealing with these same themes over and over again. If you haven't dealt with it already. And if and, and you will have the second test to see whether you've passed, whether you've been able to be consistent in it. So, for, for instance, you may have found that certain members of your family or certain members or certain friends of your, yours or certain workmates that you have have been more important than others. And you may have decided to prioritize them or you may have come to the decision that you will prioritize them. But come September, November, if you've not prioritized them and if you've not actually made the changes that need to be made in your life to be able to better incorporate those people into you, into it, then that will be a theme for you back then. Likewise, what won't you tolerate from family members or close people towards you, from friends, from others? What won't you tolerate? If you live alone, then you'll find that all of what I'm talking about falls in the domain of family. I mean, sorry, not family, but friends, okay? So you might find that you find certain friends to be more better, um, you want to spend more time with them because they're more nurturing, because you feel better in sync, more in sync with them. And you find that there are others that may be more concentrated on themselves and they're not as uh, sensitive to you or to what you need. And likewise, those issues, whether it be family members or people that you live with, people, housemates or friends, it's all going to come it's you're dealing with it right now and it's going to all come back into focus come September no, till November this year in 2024. So I would say that that is something that it's really important to look at it at what it is that you need right now. How is it that you can be in of better support to yourself? What can you do for your healing so that your healing is actually complete and you can actually achieve a good and a complete recovery? Uh, what is it that you need to let go of in your life that has been there for so long, but you've tolerated it because you've identified with it? Where is it that your identity has been formed because of certain hurts and certain pain that you may have had in the past, but you've not been able to let go of it and it's woven itself into your existence and into your experience and you've just not been able to, to, to let go of it? Now, if you're listening to me and you think, okay, well, I've heard all this before and this is, you know, what you always say. <laughs> well, I want to say that um, that's because that's what we always are undergoing. We're always having to let go. We're always having to excavate and look at what's in the past that needs to be let go of or be released. We're always needing to reevaluate our lives and look at where it is that we are looking after ourselves and where it is that we're not looking after ourselves. We we always, always need to be able to look at what we're willing to tolerate and what we're not willing to tolerate. You know, you might find yourself in a situation where you're always being sympathetic to somebody because of certain uh, um, flaws that they may have or certain deficiencies that they may have. Okay, those are not really great words to use, but because they're just not being who you expect them to be and you've been tolerant of them and you begin to accommodate them. But then what happens is that as you go along, you might find that that is actually come to you, become to your detriment. So different times in our lives, we are evaluating ourselves in a different way. It's almost like we are using uh, different measuring tools to understand who we are and how it is that we need to interact with one another at different points in your life. And why is it a theme now? And why is it so important at this moment? And um, yeah, it is because we are, as you come to the end of it, as we enter 2025, there's going to be a completely different energy in, be, in, in, in play. And people who are born at any time of the year are uh, going to find that out. It's not just for people who are born uh, in Sagittarius or Taurus uh, because, you know, Jupiter is moving um, into, into Taurus. It's not going to be because of that. It's going to affect, affect everyone. And you've had a good 18 months to basically prepare for what it is that you need to do and for things to come into focus for you. Now, um, what previously, there have been different cycles. There's been a cycle running from 2018 till the middle of, uh, till say March, April of 20, 
23 and that cycle has been finished as well and that's been you know dealt with uh, and those things no longer need to be dealt with but you may find that you're dealing with the same themes but on a different level now and as I would say from May 2023 till November December 2024 you are dealing with similar things okay so let me give you some concrete examples as to what that may be I have tried to already but I just want to see uh, if I can go deeper for you. So the way in which it might have uh, expressed itself in your life is you might have found that if, if there's somebody that you've been thinking about, uh, perhaps um, an old love, an old flame, might have come back into focus again and you might have had to work through things or karmic stuff that had to be dealt with to be released during this time period. It might be from um, a few years ago, it might be from decades ago. That's one way in which you would have been dealing with this. For those of you who believe in twin flames, you might, this might be one of your twin flames, okay, in which you are working with this stuff and dealing and letting go of things. Um, for others of you, it might have been just simply how you relate to those who live in your home. Uh, what is it that you're willing to accept from those that you willing that you live with, and what is it that you're not willing to accept? How is it that you've changed, and you you have developed different rhythms, and and need space to be able to express them because you are coming. Out, it's like you're budding. You know, you need to blossom, and this period is about you just trying to force through to blossom, and you've needed to make space for yourself in this world and it's really been about that like being able to create room for yourself and make space for yourself on this planet and know that your voice is as important and as necessary for the well-being of us all here and so this um this the, that's how it would have uh, reared its head as well you may have found that you just needed more distance from people who you've always felt um obliged to or you felt guilty about you know perhaps you're doing better off in your family and your or, or your friends and they are not doing so well and you feel the need to constantly compensate or give them something or help them along and you may have found that there's a boundary as far as that's concerned as well because what you've been doing is actually perhaps holding them back but not just that but holding yourself back as well so I think that um it's yeah it's read it's head like that as well it might be that you're a people pleaser you or you and you do things for people all the time but you don't you're not looking after yourself you're not taking care of what your needs are it might have been that you are always making the effort when it comes to your friends but they're not making the effort for uh with you so how is it that you're going to manage those uh, relationships as well so as i as I've shown you, it can rear itself in many, many different ways. Or maybe, you know, some of those ways would apply to you and some not. Please write to me in the comment section. Tell me in which way has it um, impacted your life. And just so that others could hear from you as well and understand and, and find relevance in this for you. All right. So where are we heading to after 2025? Well, I think that in as we move on we're going to find that uh you have needed whether you like it or not to step into a role that is going to be uh more relevant and make a greater contribution to the society and to the world that we live in and so regardless of what you've been doing until now you're going to find that that comes into focus for you for 2025 and why is that? It's because as we enter 2025, even though some financial markets may improve and some things may improve around the world, on other levels, things will get even more critical to the point that we will need to be there for each other in terms of a in a community. We will really need to be there to survive and to be there for each other and to help each other along. And we are moving towards more to community more and more and more as there are some forces uh, trying to dismantle that sense of community 
uh, or those energies that are trying to dismantle that, we are going to find ourselves moving more and more to it because that is what we need to survive. And I think that uh, you're going to find that you will be, if you are able to be honest with yourself and not resist and not be stubborn, you're going to find that the more you allow yourself to slide into that version of yourself that needs to be you on here on this lifetime, that you're going to find deeper happiness, a deeper sense of trust, a deeper sense of forgiveness, a, a deeper sense of um, understanding about the world and um, also a deeper, I want to say bliss. It's almost like you go into a deep stage of bliss in your life and you are able to operate from joy and gratitude in a way that you've never been able to before. So if you are open to being on that journey, drop me a line as well and let me know. And perhaps what we could do is form some kind of group where we are able to support each other. For those of you who are on that journey or for those of you who might be want to be on that journey, but you're struggling to actually release and, and, and go through with it. Because identification is, it can be quite a stagnant thing. You know, you might understand yourself in one particular way and define yourself in one particular way only. And there's so much more to it. All right. Then um, just looking at things externally outside of the self, you might find that, um, and I recognize this video is becoming very long now, but I just want to put in a couple of minutes here. As you know, there's been a lot of conflict around the world. Things are changing quite a lot. There's been quite a lot of shifting sands. There's a lot of natural disasters. There's financial disasters. There are people that are just really struggling to cope and, and manage. And um, it's it's been a really hard time for people. And how is that going to be evolving? Well, it depends on the mob. It depends on the mass uh, consciousness. What needs to happen is a re-evaluation of particular religions as well as um, uh, particular ide ideas of nationalism and of um, what is a progressive. Okay, If those things can be evaluated and revised, if they can be a revision, a revision sorry, of, different, of the different religions, the Abrahamic religions, for instance, and what I'm saying might be blasphemous for some of you. But if there can be that revision, then there will be progress. If there can be a vision as to what one understands to be a nationalist, then that then those things will also be, um, well, you'll come to closer to what um, what the what the truth is or what the answer is. And if there can be some revision of what is today known to be progressive, then we will have that understanding and we'll be able to make more space for each other. All I can say, well, I don't want to go into a lot of detail about it. If you want me to go into a lot of detail about it, I, uh, you can DM me or you, yeah, you can, you can send me, uh, a, a, an email to at info at kismetrising.com and what I will do is I will uh, make a video that is private and uh, share it with, uh, with with some of you. What I don't want to do is be able to put that information out there and uh, and and make and, and create fear in people and I don't want to because also you know words have power and words and things can come to pass because you speak about it. And if too many people believe about it, you have a tipping point and then things come to to be. So I, I don't want to put that reality out there. I would like to change that reality so that we all can be OK. The one thing I will say, though, is that there are certainly forces acting upon the planet in a way that uh, we need to all overcome. And uh, that is yeah, something that's really necessary. And the only way to overcome it is to remain in light. And what does it mean to be remain in light? Well, it means that you need to be as positive and as full of love as you can possibly be and not be critical, not be despairing, not be um, uh, hateful, not be, um, not lose faith, okay? 
just trust in yourself and in your ability to love and understand that every single one of you has the power to change every single thing in this world just by your thought, your prayer, your and where your focus is ultimately. Okay, so with that, I'm going to leave you and I wish you all a very blessed May and uh, bless the time ahead. Now that these eclipses are behind us, the worst is over, but these themes will continue. And as I said, as you come to September and November, it will actually uh, rear itself again. Try to do the work now in between, between try to do the work between now and September so that by the time September comes, you won't feel it at all. And then look around you and see what happens in the world and, and measure your experience to what's been happening in the world. And uh, you'll realize that you've done the work and you've actually, uh, you've been okay. And if you want to know what I mean by having done the work, then go back and listen to this video again. On that note, wishing you a very blessed time. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising and cheers for now.